Hello and welcome to Rockasoft tutorial series. My name is Stacy Thatcher and today I'm going to talk to you about the different ways that you can control your PTZ cameras. So PTZ Joy, you can see it here on your screen right here. Um, it is a professional computer-based PTZ camera management software. It's going to let you manage your Visca and IP cameras directly from a computer or live production system, such as a TriCaster or vMix, um, just to name a few. Um, this software adds functionality that you're not going to find with a, say, a hardware joystick control panel um, or maybe your system's internal PTZ controls. Um, we offer a lot of professional tools, um, not just to control your PTZ cameras, but also work with presets, um, automate camera movements, um, and ultimately it's going to simplify your workflow and help you produce a quality um, video broadcast. But I'm going to dive deeper into a lot of the features that we have, but for today, um, I am going to just share with you the different ways that you can control your PTZ cameras from our software, with our software. So uh, let me just show you what I have set up here. You can see the PTZ Joy controller on your screen here. And then I have my little racetrack demo back here just to show you guys. Um, the cameras are set up here and you can see the video feed um, from my two cameras. Um, and with PTZ Joy, you actually don't need any other hardware to control your cameras um, because we have a precise virtual joystick right here um, that actually mimics a regular hardware joystick controller. Um, you're going to get the variable pan, tilt, zoom speed. Um, and let me just kind of show you how it works. I have my, my camera one and you can move it left and right. As you can see, you have a precise movement of your camera's pan tilt controls. The zoom, you can um, control here with our zoom lever and our focus lever, you can control here with the focus lever. Um, and let me just show you, you can zoom, zoom it out and then zoom it in. And these controls, as I said before, um, have variable speed control. So the further that you move your, um, your mouse or the virtual control away from its center point, the quicker it's gonna go. Let's go back here, quicker it's gonna go. So that is our virtual joystick. Um, just make sure up here you click on virtual joy, or joy to activate that. Um, the second way that you can control your PTZ cameras with our software that I'm going to talk about is with the hotkeys. Um, so basically you can use um, your keyboard on your computer um, to, that has shortcuts already pre-configured in the app um, to control your PTZ cameras. So um, just really quickly, um, let's go back to, let's do this time, I'm going to switch to cam two. And all you do, actually no, let's go back to camera one, I'm going to move it back. Um, all you do is you can use the arrow buttons here to move it left and right, up and down. And then also um, you can do a lot of other things. It's not just up and down, left and right. You can zoom in or out with the Z or X. So X is to zoom in. Z is to zoom out. You can also recall presets with the, the shortcuts here and um, I will link all the shortcuts, um, the link to where you can find those below the video, but um, the Q button, Q key I mean up here, let me call my presets here. You can see it goes to preset one and then goes to preset two we can go to preset three and so on and so forth. Um, you know, I already have these configured. Uh, you can also switch between your cameras by clicking on one, two, three. So I have two cameras here. I'm in camera one, I'm gonna go to camera two and now I can control 
my camera with the keyboard hotkeys. Again, I will link the hotkeys down um, in the description of the video. Um, let's see, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is our PTZ ball mode, which I think is really cool. Um, you need minimal equipment um, with this. So you're just gonna go here on the controller and click on PTZ ball mode. And what this does is, you can see here I'm using a ball mouse um, to control everything, but you can actually use this to control your PTZ cameras. So really cool. Let me just go ahead and switch to camera one to show you guys how to do this. So you just have to press and hold um, the alt button on your keyboard here, and you can use this ball to as a PTZ camera controller. Isn't that cool or what? Watch. And I'm moving it left, moving it right, and move it up, move it down. You can also control zoom. Um, the zoom function here is going to be press the Z for press the Z button and then move it up to zoom in. Press the Z button, move it out to zoom out. So this ball mouse becomes a PTZ camera controller. So this is really handy. Um, like I said, minimal equipment to control your cameras. Um, let me just come over here and touch over this keypad mode. Um, this just pulls up the, these directional buttons here. Um, if you want to control your cameras that way, you can do so. You know, zoom in and zoom out. You can adjust the, the, the focus here um, as well as the speed of the pan, tilt, and zoom controls. And the last thing that I'm gonna talk about, which is my favorite part of, of this program, is um, you can actually connect any USB joystick, wired USB joystick, any wireless joystick, um, or even a gaming controller, like an Xbox um, controller here, and use those to control your PTZ cameras. Um, so really, any joystick, I'll, I'll put a link up to the list, but as long as your Windows machine, Windows-based system recognizes the joystick, you can use it to control your cameras and turn something like this into a professional PTZ camera controller, which I think is pretty cool. So let me just show you. You just come up here and click on USB Joy, and then now you can use Oh, I unclicked it, one second. And you now can use it to control your cameras with variable speed and you can also, this joystick has the little zoom lever here so you can you know, do simultaneous zoom and pan. Oh, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Let me zoom out. There we go. Okay. Um, another great thing about PTZ Joy is it lets you, um, when you're using a USB joystick, it lets you configure the buttons on it. So most joysticks have all these buttons, um, whether you're using you know, a, a professional um, joystick like this or an Xbox controller, it's got these programmable buttons. And so our software will let you program these to your liking. So I let me just show you quickly how to do that. Um, you go into the settings panel here and it pops up this little area where you can configure your joystick um, and this is where you do so. You can you know, call on presets, you can set, your set to call different cameras, you can configure which button is for zoom. Um, there's a, a host of commands that you can do and I will link um, to them below the video, but all you do to set this up, see I already have mine um, set here, but I don't have these buttons set, so let me just do it here to show you guys. All you do is you click the button on your joystick. I'm going to click on this one. Oh, that's already a preset recall. I'm going to click a button. This one's empty. So you can see here in the top right hand screen how it is right here. It's the little number is turning green. That tells you which button it is. So this button here, let's say we want it to be 
you know, preset one. I already have a preset one, but let's do another one. And then you click set. And then now I can recall my preset on the button here. And you can see here, I already have some set up here. And then I can also switch between, I have my cameras, camera one, camera two. So I'm gonna switch over to my camera two, and then I'm gonna be able to control my camera with the joystick here. Um, another really cool thing about, um, about the joysticks that they're they're not only are they precise but they've got a couple of different modes to kind of help along with that process um, so we have the slow mode um, I actually have this activated right now because oh, there's my mouse um, just so that my camera doesn't jump off the screen at you guys but basically slow mode allows for slower and more precise movements of the camera while using um, either the virtual joystick or the USB joystick. Um, and there's three, you know, mo slow modes that you can cycle through depending on what you need. Um, the other mode, and you can actually access it right here. Um, the other mode we have is our soft mode. Um, soft mode allows for gradual um, speed acceleration of the camera while using, again, the virtual or USB joystick. Um, and then the last one is our X joystick mode, and that is right here, pan only mode. Um, and that is gonna give you, this is if you want your movements only to be um, on the X axis. So see if you go, the, if you can click on the mode and it's gonna go left and right, and it won't, if you go up or down, it won't go. So if you have, a shot where you just want to kind of fly your camera from left to right and you don't want to you know veer off in, up or down in either direction this is a great tool to have um, to get that clean shot um, so those are the ways that you can control your PTZ cameras with PTZ joy controller um, if you like this video um, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to have a lot of these video tutorials um, coming up to kind of tell you guys about our product and um, get you familiar with all the features that we have to offer. Um, also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, we're going to have a lot of cool giveaways coming up leading up to the NAB show in Las Vegas. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Have a good one.